Hey guys, welcome to my sixth video now ever on YouTube on this channel. Today, I'm so excited. I've actually been procrastinating this video for like three weeks now. In my head, it needed to be filmed during the daylight, which just literally no logic there. Like I have studio lights for a reason. Like we can pretend it's daylight whenever we want. But today I'm gonna be doing TikTok made me buy it. And I'm gonna be trying some things and I don't have a lot of time and I also don't want this video to be too long. So I might make this a two part thing because I got so much different stuff and some of it I cannot use today. Okay, we're gonna do four things today and four things in the next video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I actually am so freaking amped about this. Okay, my wonderful, beautiful assistant Ariana helped me scavenge the TikTok app to find some of the most popular TikTok items that I guess people are buying and I wasted some money. I bought eight different things all from different places and we're just gonna review them. I'm gonna show you each thing and then we'll cut to a clip of me actually trying it out. But the first thing I got was from Amazon and it's a portable lint room. It's a portable lint remover for sweaters and woven coats. I don't know why, you know, you wouldn't just have a regular lint roller. Oh, it's probably because this is waste free. I think this is like a eco-friendly, environmentally friendly lint roller because typically with lint rollers, you have to like remove the strip once there's too much stuff on it. Whereas this is just, it's literally just like coil. Let's see. Oh, I mean, we need to test this as something that has more lint. I will say though, on Amazon at three and a half stars. I don't know why. Oh, 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 I know what we can test out. I know what we can test out. I also think I'm like being kind of lazy about it. So let's go try this out on my like fake cowhide rug. <laughs> let's go try this out on my fake cowhide rug. That way we can actually like assess because I feel like that thing always gets like really, really dirty. I apologize. It's probably very, very grainy right now and you can't really see my face but it's the only way that I can show that this carpet is so fucking dirty. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay, so it's obviously not gonna get the crumbs. Okay, to be fair, it's not crumb. Oh my God. That's actually fucking gross. I'm embarrassed. Stop. Turn this thing off. Okay, I need to vacuum. Ew! This is calling myself out. I don't like it anymore. Okay, it works. Okay, if you guys want a waste-free fucking lint roller, then just get this thing. Definitely does the job. <laughs> oh my god, my gag reflex is so bad. Okay, next product. Okay, so the next thing that I got was this Dove stainless steel case and one refill refillable deodorant. And I don't really get it, right? Because at the end of the day, why not just have deodorant? Like, does this actually end up being waste-free? Okay, so it says buy once, refill for life. Together, let's help the planet one refill at a time. And as you can see, it looks like a deodorant AirPod case. It says our first refill of a deodorant in a stainless steel case, highly durable, designed to last. Every deodorant refill is kept fresh in a 98% recycled plastic pack made of the plastic that had a life before. And our caring 0% aluminum deodorant formula, 48 hour odor protection with a quarter moisturizers and no alcohol. Kind to your skin. Okay, 0% aluminum. I mean, we'll see, right? Like it says 48 hour odor protection. I normally have to get like clinical strength because let me tell you, these pits, they get stinky. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Looks like deodorant for sure. Okay, so open the refill and place it onto the base. Okay, so we have the base. Oh, um, oh, that is, that's so sticky. Ew. I don't think this is supposed to stick to it this much. This is gross. I think it was like meant to hold it in place, not necessarily become one with this stainless steel. Oh my God, ew, not on my new nails. Ew. Okay, we're making progress. I'm a texture girl and this is huh, make me feel like I could gag. I just want it to look pretty. Cause I actually might end up regardless, like even if it doesn't give me the type of clinical strength that I need, I feel like I'll still carry this around because one, I paid for it and two, it's like travel size. So I'm not opposed to always having deodorant available. Oh my God, there's this thing all over it. Okay, open the refill and place it onto the base. Oh, like that. Twist 90 degrees until it clicks. Oh, you guys heard that? Okay, <laughs> and then more this sticky bullshit. All right, Dove, if you're watching this on my channel with 10K subs, you guys need to get rid of this sticky stuff. It's very gross and not making this an enjoyable experience. All right, and then remove refill cover and start using your new deodorant. Oh, this is actually really cute. <laughs> like, wait, I got the, what fragrance is this? Oh, I got Sensitive Hypoallergenic. It smells really nice. Let's, uh, let's give it a whirl, yeah? It's very soft. 
It doesn't feel like the typical Dove deodorant. Let's see if it's actually a 48 hour protection one. It smells it again after smearing it under my armpits. This is really cute and I will definitely be keeping this around in my little purse because I just feel like it's convenient and easy to take on the go. I think regardless of whether or not it actually will protect me for 48 hours, I don't think it will. No deodorant ever has. I love that it's made out of recycled plastic and technically you only ever need to buy the refills and the refills are the part that are made out of the recycled plastic but it's like then I wonder how you're supposed to dispose of it like can you dispose of it and it's recyclable or are you just adding to the waste all over again that becomes a question you know for people who are actually gonna buy this to be environmentally friendly but yeah the sticky stuff sucks and it makes me look like I have gum stuck on there but other than that I mean, for 14 bucks, you gotta decide if the price is up to you. I think it's because you're paying for stainless steel and it's this whole, it's a whole thing that they're doing and I, I, I feel like I get their image and I don't know if I'm here for it yet. We'll see. But I definitely will continue to use the product. I won't be returning it. I don't think I'm gonna return any of this stuff. It's so much effort, you know what I mean? That's product number two. Product number three. And I feel like most likely if I'm a smart girl, I use this as the thumbnail. These damn leggings are supposed to make your butt look insane okay these are the tiktok leggings they have this kind of like ruching pattern and it's supposed to hug in all of the right places they're supposed to be nice and high-waisted and very like shape-shifting like supposed to make your bum look fantastic now I will be the first to say, I do have a butt. I don't have a crazy butt, but I'm not flat necessarily. So like, I think that regardless, these will be flattering. I would want to see this on someone who doesn't feel like they have much of a butt. I'm Puerto Rican. Maybe it's that I don't have a butt and I just have hips. Like, I feel like my butt is just wide. You know, like here, we'll do a little quick before, okay? But, but, it's nothing crazy, but it's not not there. So excuse me while I switch into these and I'll let you guys know the final verdict. Okay, I apologize, my room is a mess, but I feel like I get what they did. I don't honestly know if I love it though. Okay, this is what they did. So they essentially added like a seam here that like tightens and kind of ruches this whole thing so that it's kind of sitting in your butt cheeks and just makes them look bigger. I will say, I will say that they are incredibly comfortable. They're very, very cozy. Like I would lounge around in these all day, but I can literally feel it. Like it feels like I'm on the verge of getting a wedgie. I don't know how I feel about that, you know? Just me. And I don't know that they're necessarily shape-shifting. I also feel like if I wore these like any higher that I'd be on the verge of camel toe. But they're comfortable. They definitely, you know, they do something for the butt. But uh, I don't know. Can you guys let me know? What do you think? Are these worth it? They're only like 10 bucks, so maybe they are worth it. I'll also be intrigued to see how these hold up in the wash. Should I be more in-depth about these in the future? Should I like put more effort into this? Let me know. That's my honest opinion. I don't think they're like, I've worn so many leggings. You guys have to understand. Like I was a fitness snob before anything. I used to buy from Gymshark and Lululemon Flex Fit. Like I've basically worn so many, like dozens of different fitness brands and they just feel like a regular pair of scrunchy leggings. And I feel like if you guys wanted scrunchy leggings, I mean, they don't have to be these, you can find them anywhere. But these are probably the cheapest option, which is probably why they got so much clout and like popularity around them. And they also come in so many different colors. So they're great. I like them, but I don't know if I really love like all the ruching design on it and stuff. Like definitely something I'd wear at home and maybe like something I'd wear under sweatpants when it's really cold out. And I feel like that's kind of where our affair would end if I'm being honest. Okay, so this last item I'm gonna show you guys is so funny to me and I actually think it's my worst fucking nightmare. Like genuine. I was like, am I really gonna buy this? This shit was like $40. Um, this is called the Clocky, and it is an alarm clock on wheels, okay? And it is exactly what it sounds like. It is an alarm clock that literally has nothing but wheels on either side of it, that's literally what holds it up. And when the alarm goes off, that motherfucker yeets itself off the nightstand, and it will make you chase it around the house. <laughs> Jumps off a three foot table, runs away beeping. Look how happy he is. Look how damn happy he is, he says. Beep, ba, ba, beep. Truly a piece of art. So let's open this up. I think we'll just set the alarm for like five minutes from now. That way we can see what this experience is like off of the nightstand. I hope this doesn't require batteries because I definitely don't think I have that. They should have warned me. Install batteries. Ah, 
They always do this. Definitely did not come with any. Oh my God, and it requires a screwdriver. What do I look like? The F. Uh, there's a snooze button. Yeah, good luck actually hitting it. Well, I have to now go try and find a screwdriver and AAA batteries and um, I'll be right back. I don't know how I got lucky enough to find screws and batteries to plug this in. It says HMAT, hours, minutes, alarm, and timer. Do. We're gonna put this right here. We're just gonna let that. We're just gonna vibe out for a little while. My heart is racing. It's gonna be very anticlimactic if nothing happens. Are you gonna drive? Where's the driving? Oh! I fucked up. I fucked up. It's fine. I got this. I think I know what to do now. Sorry, anticlimactic. Let's wait for it to turn to 621. It also didn't let me do AM or PM, which I thought was kind of weird. It wasn't that scary though, but I could see how that would scare me in the morning. He said, ew, weird! Oh! Oh! My! If there's anything that we can confirm, this works. I would love to try this like first thing in the morning when I'm actually waking up and see how much I regret it and how much it pisses me off and see how far it goes. Cause I feel like at the beginning, it kind of got stuck on my like rug and it couldn't really drive. Cause this is, these are like rubber wheels, which I guess is great for durability. But part of me wants to throw it away and never see it again. Another part of me really wants to keep this. Cause I feel like this could be great to get me out of bed in the morning or especially like when traveling becomes a thing again. I tend to sleep on my sofa cause I always get afraid that I'm not gonna wake up in time if I sleep in my bed because I just keep hitting snooze but on the sofa I wake up and I'm like why am I out here oh because you have to catch a flight or you have to catch an uber or whatever so I feel like that could be good at some point in time but yeah this looks like a little devil it looks like my worst nightmare but I think it's really cute <laughs> I don't know. I'm a fan. I think I'm gonna keep him. Name me beep poop. Well, you guys, that's gonna be it for this TikTok made me freaking buy it video. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoy. No, don't expose me. It's natural daylight. Yeah, just natural daylight from my window. My big beautiful window. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see the part two of TikTok Made Me Buy It, I don't know if I'll title it part two or if it'll just be another TikTok Made Me Buy It video. Make sure to thumbs up this video. Thank you, by the way, for 10,000 fucking subs. Pretty cool. I think my theory was right about YouTube recommending brand new channels. I also do think that I was right that obviously having my previous following to kind of push the channel into the algorithm obviously helps speed things up a little bit. But yeah, I feel like I have not been proven wrong with my theory so far. So anyway, I've been having a blast on this channel and just sharing new videos and content and ideas with you guys. But that's gonna be it, my friends. I will catch you guys in my next video. See ya. Oh, I'll have everything linked in the description box too. All right, bye.